Danny boy, mm -hmm. the pipes, the pipes are. You know, that I, I started singing sing. because of Vanessa Johnson, our producer, who's been putting song lyrics <laughs> in the teleprompter for months, and I've never. You really I've sound never, right. I've oh, never. That's 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 nice of you to say, it's Vanessa. True. That was for you. But this is the time of the year where we got to be festive, right? Yes. You're looking at the Irish tap dancers uh, doing their popular moves. This is at St. Patrick's Day uh, celebrations, and across the nation, people are celebrating, decked out in green. While Chicago's festivities kicked off last weekend with parades and, of course, the dying of the Chicago River, it's still green, which is great. Uh, yes, not it is. everyone, however, feeling the luck of the Irish this year. The prices are up for some key ingredients and popular Irish dishes, and even your favorite pint of beer may cost you a few more bucks. That's why people aren't excited. Jake here, Alexis, is at an Irish pub right outside of Atlanta. Jake, how much more is it going to cost people tonight? Well, Tia Anthony, if you're decked out in your green, getting ready to head out to your favorite Irish restaurant or bar, you should probably be prepared to pay a little more. Here's some things that have gone up in price over the past year. Meats like corned beef are up nearly 2%. Potatoes, 13%. And how about making some Irish soda bread? Well, flour is almost 20% more expensive than last year, and eggs are up over 55%. And what goes better with corned beef and cabbage than a fresh pint of beer? Well, even that's more expensive, with prices over 5% higher at the pub over the last year. Expect to pay a little bit higher prices, a little bit higher, but you know, it's a holiday, you know, the American consumers uh, tends to splurge a little bit on, on holidays. And those prices mean it's costing more for restaurants and bars to prepare for today. This Irish pub had all of the classics ready to go this morning. Guinness, Irish coffee, corned beef and cabbage, you name it. But the pub's marketing director says working through inflation has been stressful and they did have to raise their prices to make up for it. We've tried to make very incremental, like small price adjustments as needed. Um, just so that it's not such a hardship for our customers. We've tried to make it as easy on them as we can. Even with those higher prices, this could be a record-breaking St. Patrick's Day. The National Retail Federation expects 61% of American consumers to celebrate tonight. That would be an increase from 54% last year. In Sugar Hill, Georgia, Jake Carol Fox 32 Chicago. All right.